happy Friday, friends. I ended up having a weekend vlog filmed last week and I just deleted it on this SD card because now it's old. Um, I planned on getting it to you guys earlier this week and then we had some things happen. Bubba's had a little bit of an episode. He's doing better. He's on some medication from his vet. He's definitely acting more himself. I had a really rough night with him Monday night. And then Tuesday, I stayed home with him. Wednesday, Thursday, and today. Well, Wednesday, Thursday, Steven stayed with him. Today, I stayed with him because I work remotely on Fridays. So he's doing better. He's actually in the office with Steven right now. Steven came home a little early, but is actually still on a Zoom call. And it's 5.17. I just ended my work day for the week, closed up my laptop, sent everything I need for Monday, drafted everything I need for Monday as well. Um, so I'm in a good place. <sighs> yeah, thinking about dinner, Stephen and I started Purple Carrot. It's a meal service that we've used before. This is not sponsored at all. We pay full price, all the things, but we really did enjoy them. So we've gone back to them and last night we had some grain bowls that were really, really good. Tonight, I don't know what we're going to make. We have a couple options. Let me see what's in the fridge. All right, this looks pretty easy. I'm gonna get the oven preheating, so that's taken care of. And while that preheats, I thought I'd walk you in here. So last weekend, I don't even remember. All my days are blurred together. The green that I used in my master bedroom, I actually painted the upper part of this space that same color. The board and batten is cracked pepper, love it. This is Acacia Haze by Sherwin-Williams. It's like one of my new favorite greens. It's very gray. Like it almost reads as like a tan in the camera, but it's green. And then, see it looks way more green there. It's the same color. And then this is going to be the Peloton room. I actually just laid the Peloton mat out. I have my yoga mat on it because it was a little wavy. So I'm getting it flattened out. So my Peloton bike goes the whole way this way. I have all this space to keep um, some workout stuff in. These baskets aren't necessarily staying there. They're probably gonna get moved around. This shelf is from Holistic Habitat. I just have it styled with some towels and a candle. This is actually from a subscriber, this rope bowl, and I just love the texture. This picture is from Studio McGee. I have a uh, Society6 picture there, and then I have these three from Etsy. I'll leave them linked down below from an Etsy shop. They custom did them for me, then I framed them. I put this board and batten in. These baskets are so high quality, they're also enormous. They're from Serena and Lily. So this is the large one, this is the small one. And I also ordered the medium. However, it's currently back ordered and it's gonna go in one of these corners. This stool was my grandmother's. I used to pull it up and sit next to her at the table. It was a weird color, it was starting to show some wear so I gave it a coat of spray paint and now I'll use it every day in this space. So this is what the Peloton room has turned out to look like and I'm really happy with it. The other thing that will happen this weekend is the new light fixture for the Peloton room will get installed. And that light fixture is right here, it's delivered. It ends up looking really, really cool. This will go around this large globe and like kind of be suspended, it's a whole vibe. And then, also this weekend, I am tackling the l entryway. We're actually gonna do a little jazzing up of this space. Clearly, love my board and batten that I installed. So what is going to happen in here is, I'm actually going to bring that amazing Acacia Haze color to the door, both sides. I know I have an awesome yellow door, but I really wanna bring that green in, and it goes with this piece so well. So this is going to become a Casey Hayes. We're gonna get all new black hardware on the doors. And this section of the house will all have black hardware. It'll be amazing. And then, all along here, we're going to install grass cloth wallpaper. It will end right at this wall. 
I'm actually going to take it and wrap it around this corner and it's gonna fill in that space. And then this summer, when I have a little extra time on my hands, I'm actually going to change out the color of this, the staircase here, and all down the second floor hallway. This is just reading a little too bluish gray for me. And I definitely want something a little earthier and neutral, but really excited. So that's what's happening this weekend. And I'm gonna get dinner started and it looks like it's going to be a breeze. So I'll get this prepped and then we will eat. It is Saturday morning. Um, it's only around 9 a.m. I've already um, ran some errands this morning. My hair had a hat on. <laughs> it's a story of my life on a weekend. I gotta tell you, last night we ate dinner, the purple carrot, the lemon braised chickpeas were delicious. It's also a super simple recipe and I really, really liked it. I already got these knobs off. These were kind of tricky, even though they're just dummy knobs. And then I already started installing all my black hinges because those will all have new hardware. What I'm toying with right now is starting to paint the door. I'm actually going to paint this side light too to make the door feel bigger. And it's going to be Acacia Haze by Sherwin Williams. I am also going to then paint this Acacia Haze just because it needs to be cohesive and it breaks my heart to get rid of the yellow door. I am going to wait till it warms up. It's supposed to get around 50 degrees later today. So I'm just going to wait that out. We're gonna get this hardware off the door. Things are definitely happening. He ate really well today, but it's still pretty mellow. Hey, looky, Bubby. <laughs> He's starting to get so gray around his eyes. He's looking for daddy because daddy left because Steven this morning, I mean, we are tag teaming it right now. Steven is working on the Peloton gym room and putting in the new light. And the only thing he needs to address, he actually has it all hooked up and done. He just needs, oh, I turned on the light switch. He just needs to get longer screws to mount it to the ceiling. Everything else is done, the wiring is done and everything. So that is what it'll look like. And then this amazing globe sits down in it. It's going to be so good when it's done. I'm really excited about it. So that is what's happening today. My wallpaper is supposed to get delivered at some point today. And that's where we're at. It's gonna be a fun day. And like, easy projects. I'm excited about it. Are you excited? Bubby, Bubby. Are you excited? Are you excited? I'm so glad you're eating good. Also, I should let you guys know, we, in the past week and a half, we've actually switched him over to Farmer's Dog. Uh, it's fresh food. I wonder if we have any. We might actually be defrosting some in the sink. I don't know. Do we have one? We don't have one defrosting right now but we probably have one in the fridge. So, oh, here it is. So we do have one defrosting. This is the beef recipe. So he gets half, he gets one of these whole packs a day. And this is um, 21 days. They're in the freezer. They're all fresh food. They actually say humans can eat it. So this is beef, carrots, cauliflower, spinach. Uh, I forget what else is in it, but they're all super healthy. Really good for dogs. We read a lot of reviews around people who had older dogs and after giving them farmer's dog, it really gave them like a little bit of a lease on life because it's so healthy for them. And he really likes it, don't you? You really like it. What's your review of it? It's delicious, it's healthy and nutritious. We love you. There's nothing we wouldn't do. He also has a new collar on the way. Maybe it'll come soon. All right, I'm gonna start painting and edging out the door just to make sure I really like the color and I can get that done before the wallpaper even arrives. Let's get to work. Things are happening and I am in love with this. It also makes the door feel so much bigger. It 
it's such a good call. I love that I painted the side light. Um, yeah, I really like it. I have decided to keep this trim piece, the white, just because it's hard to break off where it ends. And I do want to keep that looking pretty clean. So, although, I don't know if I love the line it creates. I'm struggling with that. The door looks a little uneven in color only because parts of it are drying. I ended up painting it all. It makes the door feel so big when it's closed, which I love, and it just really, like, really connects all the colors of the house. I also love that this piece literally is probably 70 years old, and it <laughs> matches that really well. I'm really pumped with how it's looking. I also got one coat on the exterior side, but still going. But I want to show you like how beautiful that black is going to pop off of that. And then I'm just like slopping paint on these other hinges because those are going to get removed. But I'm really, really pleased with how this is looking. And then I thought I'd show you Steven was working really hard and actually got our light up in the Peloton gym space and it is incredible. So that is the light in here. Let me turn it off and see. There, you can see it much better. It's like this beautiful globe and then the gold arms. It's just stunning. And it's really nice because it matches the gold light here. So pumped about that. Things are happening. <laughs> Wallpaper hasn't arrived yet today, which is fine. I can work on that tomorrow as well. But this piece is really making me happy. Look how beautiful now the rug connects to that. I'm really thrilled with it. So last night kind of ended up being a bust. I was so exhausted by the time I had finished the wallpaper, cleaned up everything, that I crashed on the couch. <laughs> Literally didn't speak to Steven and just like, cause he was watching a movie and I just walked upstairs and went to bed. And I woke up around 6 a.m. this morning and then at seven, my good friend Rebecca and I, I talk about her all the time. Uh, she also is on Instagram, Baron Bakes. She's like one of the most amazing, talented bakers on the planet and her stuff is not only beautiful, it is, absolutely delicious. I will leave her linked below. You should totally follow her. But she is just a, a friend of all friends. Um, I'm so lucky to have her in my life. Like, I leave every conversation just feeling good about myself and just really uplifted. She's also the friend that just like randomly throughout the week I get texts from her that are like, you're amazing. Like, just keep going. Like, <laughs> she is incredible and I'm so lucky and blessed to have her in my life and I cannot wait till all of the pandemic stuff is over because her and I have a trip hanging out to do we also need to go to some concerts in Vegas once it's up and running so find yourself someone who literally just makes you feel better every single day that's a sign of a really healthy and wonderful friendship I still have some paint on my hands. I didn't scrub them well enough last night. So happy with the entryway. I will take you for a final tour of it today. At some point, if you were following me on Instagram, which you should be because I've been doing a lot of DIY stuff over there and I always save it so you can always go back and reference them. But I did a lot of talking through it and sharing over there. So go over, follow me there. Lots of, a lot more content is going to be happening over there. I've started to add some reels. Yeah, just go over, do yourself a favor. So today I am heading off to, of course, Target. This morning, today is going to be a super chill day. The goal of today is to talk you through a couple things. I converted the Peloton room. I also wanna talk you through how I reconfigured storage and organization in the house in order to take all the coats and all the storage that was in that space and reutilize it, reconfigure, and make it all work. 
super excited to have the Peloton Plus bike delivered. We sold our Peloton bike to a colleague at a really good price, thinking that shipment was going to be fast. However, as we all know, with everything that's gone on in the world, shipment for Pelotons has been very slow. So now we're slated for April 10th. We had the electrician here on Monday because we need to put some plugs in there, some plugs in the garage, and a couple other plugs in the house that we kind of wish were there. And then, um, also, what else do I want to update you guys on? Oh, maybe just like a couple little finds around the house. And yeah, I'm really happy with where we're at. I found that like the addition of adding some character finally to the home uh, is making it really feel our style. I also ended up doing some things to the front door that I want to share with you for sure. And like I said earlier this morning, I'm going to link everything for you guys because I found some really good deals on hardware and it was really easy to put together. Steven needs to put the doorknob though on his office door because uh, his office door is a little trickier. So I'm going to have him do that. All right. I feel like I just rambled, but it's been a really good morning. What are things that I've been loving? I have two recommendations for you. One is Morgan Wade's album, A Reckless. Uh, it's country, it's really well written, it feels pretty modern, and I'm loving it. I've been listening to it on loop while I worked in the house this weekend. And then another book recommendation, Rebecca and I both read together The Last Apothecary. I'm almost done with it. I was plowing through it, and then this week got a little crazy, so I didn't read as much as I normally would. But it is fantastic, and I highly recommend it. All right, friends, I'm blaring. I am squinting into the sun, so I'm going to let you go. Oh my goodness, friends. So I got everything put away. I also did some restyling of this table. I wanted to lighten it up for the spring and summer. So I just have like a really simple candle, this Studio McGee vase in this little basket. If people come in through the front door, they can drop off their keys. I kept my peace sign because I really love that layered look and my basket stayed the same. And that lamp stayed the same. And then I wanted to show you what I ended up. Also, can we just talk about how beautiful this looks? I also painted the vent cover to match the pendants. So they look perfect. But I thought I'd show you what I did to the front door. Um, I just did my last touch up paint. But I got this welcome sign at Target. It was $15. So I put it in here. And then... There's another one that's completely level with it on both sides. And then this wreath is McGee & Co. So if you go to the McGee & Co. website, you can actually get this wreath. But it's beautiful. It's super full and just stunning. And then I went ahead, I cleared out my planters. That rug is from Studio McGee. The under rug is from Target. Um, I have a new one to put out eventually. And then I also added some more neutral pillows out here. I am gonna hold off on doing any of my planting only because it's supposed to get cold later this week and even snow within the next week and a half. But I thought I'd show you a couple other updates around the house that I've done. I got some new prints and frames in here. Really, really love it. It helps balance this out and I moved another print upstairs, but I'm really happy with those. I'll link the site. It's something Finch. I found them on Instagram. They have really great vintage looking prints. So I did that. Then another update in our pantry, which is still one of my favorite rooms. Also, just so you guys know, our pantry baskets are working perfectly. I mean, they are still in pristine shape. But my hooks came. So we installed these. These are from Anthropology. They were tricky to put up. And then I have some aprons and some towels. And then our bench is here. <laughs> it's collecting a couple things that still need to be put away. But loving, loving, loving the pantry. So this room that now is the Peloton workout space used to house a lot of coats and things. However, we wanted to convert that space, so we knew we had to find the storage somewhere else. So I started to just reconfigure things. I found these amazing bins from Amazon. They literally look like they've been built for this bench. And I also um, 
stain the wood handles. They were a lot lighter. So in these bins are our everyday shoes. The way I stored them were in shoe bags that I got on Amazon. That way when you pull out a bag, both are with it and you don't have to dig. Also, it keeps the dirt off the other shoes. Like say, I have a light pair of shoes at the bottom. That will help keep them protected. Then in here, I ended up making some changes too. We got this really great rack in our laundry room, which houses literally the shoes we wear every single day. But also it has a hanging rack, so when I'm doing laundry, it's actually really handy. And then back here, I did add two hooks for like my long winter coat. But once again, once winter's over, a lot of these coats will go up into storage in the upstairs linen closet. And then in here, I have our masks are like winter hats for Steven, mine, then some other overflow um, gloves and stuff, and then sanitizers. And then in the bottom cabinet is our laundry stuff. Then up here I have all my pods, my dryer sheets, my scent boosters, my dryer balls are in this basket. This little wreath is from McGee & Co. And then all my daily cleaners that I reach for. And then I keep these baskets here for socks when the dryer decides to eat one. So then I needed to find space. Good morning. Hi. What are you doing? Uh, walking around and showing the new organization. So then in here, I needed to reconfigure because I needed a place to put my cleaners and the gold bins that were once in here. So I put a little dollar store light. I have baskets for my e-cloths, my overflow cleaner, my dusting stuff my Dyson accessories, this is garbage bags, and this is extra like hand soaps, cleaners. <laughs> Steven's Zoom shirt is here, all my brooms. And then I got this wire shelf at Target, and in here are jar candles, tea lights, taper candles, adhesive tapes and glues and things like that, reusable bags, and then that is travel accessories, like travel pillows, things like that. But I have them all organized in this cabinet. And this is literally how we cleared out the new Peloton room. But everything is organized in a really nice, neat way. I think those are the bulk of little updates to share with all of you. Look how good that looks. I've been like just sitting here enjoying it. Oh, the door's open. This afternoon, I've been trying to finish up my book, The Last Apothecary. It's so stinking good. And then I had a garden stool out on the front porch and it was white. And the pillows have a lot of black in it and they're the black hardware. So I did give it a coat of spray paint, matte black. I actually might be dry now. I'm gonna go out and check it. Bubba's and Steven are upstairs sleeping and I was, editing the vlog and getting it all wrapped up. Yeah. I think it's, I think it's all dry. It doesn't need to be perfect. I think it's fine. I think I'm gonna carry it around to the front. But I'm probably going to wrap up this vlog and enjoy the rest of my Sunday. I've already been editing. I hope you guys are enjoying it and learning a few things. It's almost time that we start some garden vlog. Ugh. Also, when it gets warm, we get these bugs on the front porch. They won't last, but please, in the comment, if you know if there's something we can spray to kind of deter them, please let me know. It's only happened like the last two seasons, but it drives me crazy. All right, I hit it with one more coat because I nicked the top a little bit, so that's gonna dry. All right, friends, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. It was fun, it was easy, it was breezy, and I hope you learned something new or some new products. Everything is linked for you below, and I can't wait to see you all again. In the meantime, take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone. Until next time, which will be soon. Bye-bye.